Irritable bowel syndrome is a syndrome. It's not a disease. It's a collection of symptoms. Constipation, gas, bloating, belching, diarrhea, abdominal cramps, all sorts of food cravings. Everything is put in one basket. And that's what is irritable bowel syndrome is. Now, nobody really knows the causes. In my opinion, there are a few causes, definite causes. You know, digestion takes place either in the acid medium in the stomach or in the alkaline medium in the intestines. So there, there has to be a perfect balance between the acid and the alkali. Because the alkali is created by bile and the intestinal uh, juices. Now, if you eat too much of acid or you're eating very fast, you know, or eating a lot of nuts and rough food, the stomach has to churn the food a lot. The more it churns, the more acid it produces. So this excess acid has to be neutralized before the alkaline digestion can take place. And that is where the problem starts. If the acid cannot, uh, the acid mass cannot be evacuated into intestines, food remains in the stomach for a long time, causing indigestion and discomfort and all sorts of things. And then when enough bile is secreted, the food goes into the intestines, it mixes with the alkaline medium and causes a lot of gas. So you get a lot of gas from uh, the chemical reaction. Yeast is another common cause of gas. Now yeast produces beer, as you know. You use yeast to produce beer. Now in the, when you have too much of yeast or fungal things, like uh, you know, as in bread, naan, pita bread, beer, and if you eat too much of sugar, then you feed the yeast, then there's a lot of gut fermentation taking place in the gut. As a result of that, gas is released, and this can cause abdominal cramps. It can cause all sorts of discomfort. On top of that, the diarrhea and the constipation. You see, when you have too much of gas, the colon expands. It blows like a balloon. So stool masses, digested food particles, enter the bag and there is no result at the other end and you think that you're constipated. So the food, the mass keeps on accumulating. So you're constipated for two, three days and when the bag gets full, it begins to empty with vengeance. Then you get diarrhea, you get violent diarrhea. So you have constipation, diarrhea. This is a very uncomfortable symptom. Now you could also get irritable bowel from amoeba, from dysbacteriosis, different sort of bacterial infection, parasites, all sorts of things, but, the, but you got to, there are ways of controlling that. First of all, you must eat slowly. The slower you eat, the better it is. You must avoid all the acid things and the products that I mentioned. Then, secondly, what you have to do is that you should drink water half an hour to 45 minutes after eating. You can sip during a meal because if you dilute the juices, then there's bound to be all sorts of indigestion. I have a stomach formula, which you can check in my website, drali.com. And this is a combination of different herbal uh, ingredients, which help to digest the food better and helps to regulate the bowels. The other thing is when you wake up in the morning, drink two glasses of water and then massage the abdomen in a clockwise fashion. This not only gets the blood circulation going, but also helps the bowels to evacuate better. Because if you evacuate your bowels and get rid of the gases, you feel a lot better. Now, the other thing you must remember is that you must not take uh, sort of too much of, drink too much of alcohol, coffee, and fried food, very, very rich oily food, all this effects in a big way. Now, irritable bowel syndrome can also cause a lot of psychological problems. If you are having uh, diarrhea all the time, you get conscious of it. When you go to a building, the first thing you do is to look around for a toilet. Or you can't go on long car journeys because you don't know where the toilets are. You can't stand in a queue. You can't go into uh, crowded rooms because you have this phobia that you might get accidents. And that is also a, a major problem. So a little bit of breathing exercises, a little bit of meditation will help that. Many doctors prescribe antidepressants. I don't know why, but they prescribe antidepressants for irritable bowel syndrome because they think it's a psychological problem. It is a major problem and you have a say in it.